everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. I'm so glad you're joining me. Well, I have some exciting news. Um, Spellbinders is now doing another club kit, and this is the stencil of the month club kit. Um, they'll be doing this from now on. I know a lot of you know by now that Spellbinders had canceled the card kit, the quick and easy card kit of the month. Um, and... I was really saddened by that, so I picked up another kit to do. We're going to be doing the stencil of the month from Spellbinders, and the December stencil is called My Love Grows. Um, it's a four-piece layering stencil. It creates this beautiful arrangement here. And for the most part, my stencil cards are going to be pretty, pretty basic, because the stencil I'm going to just let shine and do most of the work because it's really pretty. This is a four-piece stencil, and I think if you were to layer these two together, it would cr it creates a beautiful leaf pattern. And this will be pretty on its own. And then these pieces here, you could even layer together to create, to create some whimsical flower beds. We're just going to go traditional and do a little ink blending on a panel with all four of these layered together. I do want to mention that these will cover an A2 size card front. Let me show you. And there are notches on each of the the corners here. And, and they're indexed also. So you, this is stencil number two. You would just line up the corner notches with your A2 panel. It should line up the stencils beautifully. Some of the stencils I want to mention too, like this one. This is indexed for number one. It's on the right side. This one's indexed number two on the left. So you want to look at the left or the right, or even the top or bottom, because um, sometimes the stencil will overlap into the sections, and so they'll move over the number, the indexed number. So we have one, two, three, and four, and we're going to jump in. I'm going to grab my Waffle Flower Grit Mat, and we are going to ink blend with some inks. I thought we'd do a little bit of ink blending on some colored cardstock, and I have three different colors that go really well with yellow. This is Spellbinders Color Essential Cardstock. This is Chamomile, and I thought a, a peachy pink ink would go really good with yellow if they if blended over, and then of course greens will blend over the yellow really well. Of course, you could do white cardstock if you wanted to, also. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with my first stencil, and I will grab my ink, and I'm going to use a blending brush, and I'm going to go ho go ahead and go over each one of these heart flower buds, which are so cute. Now, once I have my panel done, I'm going to bring in a smaller panel, and I'm going to lift the bottom corner up here. I'm going to place another piece of cardstock. I'm just going to line it up. And then I'm going to tack this down, and I'm going to go over that second piece of cardstock. I would say maybe a 3x3 three three inch piece of cardstock would be perfect. Okay, and then I will slide this out. I'm going to go ahead and clean off my stencil. I just use a towel and then my my stamp spray. You can use micellar water if you wanted to. They, uh, that cleans off really good. And lightly dampen my towel, and I'm going to go over my stencil here. To me, it's just easier to wipe off when it's on my cardstock. I'm going to set this aside and we're going to take stencil number two. And then I'm going to use my light ink. I have two different shades of green. This is the lighter ink. And I'm going to go over my leaves here. Okay, and then I'll take this piece once more. I'm going to lift up this corner. I'm going to slide it in here. I'm going to line up those corners once more. I'll retack it down, and we're going to ink blend over this panel as well. And I'll clean off my stencil, and then we're going to add layer number three. 
Layer number three, we're going to add our darker ink. We'll put this off to the side here. Let's go over. Okay, I'm going to take my panel once more and I'm going to slide it under here. Line up the corner. Okay, so that is our layer number three. Looks like a continuous pattern, but we're going to remove this. And then we are going to work on our number four layer. Let's pick up some black ink, tack down these edges really good. And then we will go over this. Let's go for bold. Let's add some black ink. Okay. If your green is dark enough, I really think you can get away with using the dark green ink. Um, over the, the leaves, the black ink just looks like a dark green. Let me show you. You can, you can hardly even tell that they're black. And I'm using my Ranger Texture Paste. This is my opaque matte. And I have a paste tool set from Simon Hurley that we can use one of these little thingy-majuggers. Let's see. What is this called? It's a scraper, I guess. But let's go ahead and add some white texture paste. I think if you're to use some lunar paste, I think that would look nice too. And boy, kind of nice, guys. You can give her a large, you don't have to keep digging in your... This works really good. It really covers a lot of... A lot of surface areas in a quick amount of time. And it's very evenly, even. Wow. This is really nice. Kind of like spreading frost. It takes me back to the day when I, when I frosted my cakes. Really nice. I love this. Okay. So I'm going to lift this up. And I, ooh, I think the light, the white's going to be really nice. So I think that white just makes it stand out a little bit more. And I'm going to take this, put this on here, and I'm going to do the same thing with this. I think it's fairly easy to follow the lines here. Let's go ahead and add a little more paste to this extra piece. Okay. Let's go ahead and remove this. And we will remove this. And I'm going to take this to my sink. I'm going to wash this. And I will be right back. Now we're going to do a little bit of die cutting with our stenciled images. This is the Spellbinder Scored and Pierced Rectangles. I'm going to take the largest. And I'm going to create a panel with this. And then I'm also going to bring in my Spellbinders Essential Hearts. And I'm going to take the third, lar third smallest. I'm going to cut out a heart in this panel. So I'm going to run both of these through my die cut machine and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to take my panel. I'm going to flip it around. And we're going to add some adhesive to the back because we're going to pop it up with some... Spellbinders pop-up foam. And I love how their Spellbinders tape runner just glides over the pop-up foam. Just love that. 
Okay, we are going to take this and place this on our card. I did cut out a larger heart with white cardstock too. We're going to place this right in the middle. And then I have this heart. We are going to go ahead and add some adhesive behind here. I'm going to place this in the center. Kind of looks a little tropical. <laughs> We're going to take this heart. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to put some foam tape behind here. We're going to add this to the center. For my greeting, I'm using the Spellbinders uh, Clear Stamp and Die of the Month Club Kit. I'll be creating another project with this later on. Um, but I'm going to use the greeting that says, My Heart is Yours. I'm going to take this, and then there's the coordinating die set. I'm going to grab this. We'll take the die. Let's go ahead and stamp this on some white cardstock with black ink. I added, I put some foam tape behind my grating, but I think we need a little pizzazz, a little sparkle. And rather than just adding gems or sequins, I'm going to bring in some scratch paper and I'm going to bring in some iridescent glitter and my glazing glue. And I'm going to go over the hearts here with my glazing glue. Okay, and then I am going to just use some scratch paper and we're going to go over the glitter. I don't know if you guys have tried this before. Let me know down in the comments. But I love doing this. I love the jewel look at this. It looks just like um, jewelry, I guess. But once it dries, that glitter is in there for good. And I'm going to do a little more tucking here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take my greeting that says, My heart is yours. I'm going to remove the release paper. I'm going to add that right over the center. And then that will finish my card today using the Spellbinders brand new Stencil of the Month Club Kit. Um, it's not a replacement, definitely not a replacement for the Quick and Easy Card Kit of the Month, but I think um, this will be fun addition since they're not doing that more. I picked up this kit to, to play with every month, and um, I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check it out. Thanks so much for joining me. I wish you a fabulous day, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.